the first thing that needs to happen is for the state canvassing board to count and certify those results. That will happen later this month, but today several judges, lawyers, and even a bail bondsman spent the day putting together a plan on how this amendment will be implemented. The Metropolitan Detention Center has become known as a revolving door for repeat criminals. Residents and police say enough is enough, and now voters overwhelmingly passed an amendment to bring much needed changes. The people who uh, should be uh, detained, should be locked up pending trial, will be now under this particular amendment. Under the new amendment, a judge can decide to keep violent suspected criminals behind bars with no bond if they're accused of a felony and they're proven to be a danger to the community. UNM professor Leo Romero is part of a Supreme Court committee in charge of figuring out how this new amendment will be implemented. So we're going to be looking at procedures for you know, how, where the hearing shall take place. Uh, the rights of the defendant at that hearing. Romero says this will finally give judges the authority they have needed for some time now to keep dangerous suspects from getting back out on the streets. Bail bondsmen, though, also have an interest in this. Of course, it does affect my business and every other bail bondsman's business. New Mexico's Bail Bond Association President Gerald Madrid says despite that, he's still trying to figure out if this is the best answer. I'm still not sure if this is the solution to the problem because I think that there's going to be more defendants on no bond holds in jail right now. In other words, they can't get out there in jail indefinitely until the case is resolved. Now, members on that Supreme Court committee tell me they didn't finalize anything today, but did make progress and plan to meet again. Back to you.